Lord is telling us to do something or when we know we are supposed to do something. Abraham didn't turn back. He didn't reason. He didn't have any doubt, no fear, no hesitation. So when we know we're supposed to do something, we need to not let those things come against us. We just need to walk. Walk in it and do it. If we know it's of God, we just need to do it. Don't reason. A lot of times when, I, when I'm starting to do things now, when I might have a little fear or a hesitation come up on me, I just dismiss it. That's what I say to myself. I'm not going to accept that. I'm not going to receive that. Amen. And my next point, um, as a as a body, we uh, need to be, when we hear the word, we need to hear the word. As we do the word, instead of only hearing it, and we'll be blessed and not receive. That's from James 1, 22 and 25. But be doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like the man who observes his natural face in the mirror. For he observes himself and goes away and at once forgets what he was like. Yes. But he who looks into the perfect law, the law of liberty, and perseveres, then no hearer that forgets, but a doer that acts. He shall be blessed in his doing. And I think a lot of times we hear, we hear church, we're here, we're here, but we're not doing it. We're not following for it. We have to start stepping up. Like you said, put up or shut up. Mm-hmm. That, that's it. <laughs> you know, I, if you don't want to be in darkness anymore, I don't want to be. I don't want to be confused about things. I don't want to not have peace in my life. I don't want to be worried and fearful every day of every little thing that comes to me. So we need to start doing Start receiving the word. If you have to talk it every day, if you have to listen to it every day, It'll eventually start going in your heart. And of course, I still have issues too. But I know that the Word and the Lord is my problem solver. He's going to take care of it for me. I have to trust that. And another point, our faith. A lot of times our faith is is weak or low. We need to do things to, to elevate our faith. Um, we don't stand a lot of temptation or hardship or judgment. We're, we're easily beset by things that come at us. But if we just trust in God, he, like I said, he'll take care of it. There's nothing that God can't do. So we have to trust in that. And, and we're not special. We, we all have done the same thing. Yeah. We all have the same problems. Like Pastor Mitch said one day, uh, a, a woman in Africa, he thought he was hearing somebody here with the same problem. Yeah. We all have the same problem. So in some of the things we need to do, we need to feed our faith. That's what the word uh, encouragement. We need to encourage each other more. We need to challenge ourselves to do more for the Lord. There are many gifts that we have that we need to start doing. And don't let fear or discouragement or or fear of failure stop you. Just go out and do it. <laughs> Try it. <laughs> Today is uh, an opportunity for everyone to do something for the Lord. Stop getting discouraged. Realize your condition and awake from it. That's from um, Ephesians 5 and 14. Um, another thing, uh, power and confession uh, that I take. This is God spoke the word which is existence. The kingdom of God goes forward by make a, making a, a certain sound. We need to speak things over our life. Don't say, I can't do it. Yeah, Don't right. say, yeah, I can't right. give it. That's right. That's right. You need a job, Lord will help you find a job. Amen. Yeah. If you need uh, um, a home, ask, He will help you. Amen. It may not be today, but he'll help you. You have to have patience too. Amen. Um, the words we speak locate us. They show us if we are in faith or if we are not. The words we speak set boundaries in our life. Don't set boundaries up. 
for anything in your life. If you want to start your own business, ask God to help you. Don't just go out and do it. Pray about it. Amen. Amen. Seek Him for guidance in what business you should be doing. That's right. But our words can limit us, limit us or lose us. The words we speak will affect our inward man. So inward man. So if we're constantly telling ourselves that we can't do it, we're not going to do it. So I put, uh, God can be no bigger in us than what we confess Him to be. Amen. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Um, another uh, point, Galatians 6, 9 through 10. Let us not become weary in doing good. For at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Many times I see people give up almost before they even start. So if you're going to commit yourself to doing something, complete it. At least, at least attempt it with, with good effort and with God's help. He will help you do His will. So just ask for help. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all people. All people. I think we, we pick and choose. Amen. 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 Jesus died for all of us. He died for the drunk, the drug addict. He died for all of us. So when we see people out there that need help, we need to be good. Not it. Today I don't feel like it. I, I try not to do that anymore. If, if I see somebody that needs help, I have to help them. That's my obligation. So God said, I'm, I need to help people. I need to be good to people. I need to show love and kindness for people. So that's what I need to do. Um, James 1 and 12, blesses the man who perseveres under trial because when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life that God has promised to those who love him. And I think uh, Pastor Mitch talked about trials the other day, or definitely another time too, but we're all going to have trials. Again, we all have the same trial. It's not uncommon. It's common to me. And our trials are common. You need help? Ask. A lot of times we need to ask each other. This is our family. This is supposed to be our church family. First go to God. He may tell you, come ask this person. They can help you. Sometimes you just need to ask. And some of our trials are, are, are small trials compared to some. So we need to also take that. Is this really something I need to be focusing on when, when there's help out there for me? Um, 1 Corinthians 15, 58. Therefore, my dear brother, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. And I take that as the Lord knows my heart. He knows what I'm doing. He knows why I'm doing it. He knows, he knows it all. So it's not going to be in vain. Anything that I do mm -hmm. unto the Lord. And let nothing move you. Let nothing move you. A bill, uh, a death, uh, a problem, flat tire, horrible right, thing. Right. Let nothing move you. If you need to get somewhere, you'll get there. Ask the Lord for help. You'll get there. We need to step out of our comfort zone. A lot of times we're comfortable in, in where we're at. We need to, to step it up. Change. Do something different yeah. unto the Lord. Do something different. Make a change. We walk out as much as we are comfortable. We need to be absolutely fully, completely convinced and committed to the Lord. So we need to trust Him for everything. I think that's all I have. <laughs>